somewhere in Nevada. Our story begins in the future. Yeah. <laughs> a lot going on. A lot to unpack here. As in lingerie. There's a lot of lingerie that I'm going through for some of my next photo shoots, video shoots, for fan sites. These are filled, filled <laughs> with really, really beautiful lingerie. So thank you to Mark at G-World. Yay! <laughs> Shoes are fun. Amazon. Amazon. Now, some were wish list things, uh, shoes. So, sorry, I said things, I'm like, things? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, some of them were gifts. You can get some of these shoes for yourself for like really inexpensive, which is great because when you're outside on location, especially like on the terrain we're on, it gets really rocky. And I've had so many problems with like my heels, like in here getting scraped up. So never scratch your heels. If you're a model or actress or whatever, and you're out doing a shoot, do not bring your Louboutins. <laughs> Unless you know it's flat service and they're not gonna get scuffed up because I would not recommend bringing, you know, $1,200 $1,200 plus shoes with you to a location, especially if there's rocky terrain um, where you can scuff up your shoes. And that happens to me a lot. So also, um, yeah, I thought that the black lingerie would be great for the rock house. So I thought it would be an interesting look, right? Because you're out in the middle of the desert and it's this crazy rock house that's, you know, dirty, obviously. <laughs> and uh, you're bringing some elegance in with the lingerie. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So that's why we did that. Yay! And it was an interesting day. I started it out with um, being in not a great mood. That day was just weird for me. Sometimes you know, everybody has their, their moments, and most part I'm super, you know, happy and whatnot. I, I usually am. And it wasn't that I wasn't happy. There's just something, I don't know, it just was off that day. I uh, took the whoop, 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 and uh, yeah, I felt better. <laughs> Imagine that. No, Gary got me in a good mood and he's like, all right, if you don't want to do this, we don't have to shoot this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We have to shoot this. You're absolutely right. You know, because he had said, you know, try to get through it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just being a brat today. I'm just being a super brat. Tabitha is a brat. I feel bad sometimes because, you know, and I'm just like, Gary knows. He knows when I'm not feeling it. And he tries to pump me up. And I do the same for him when he's having difficulties while shooting something. You know, I do silly things around him all the time. But I, we made it work. We made it work. And then Gary discovered this cave. Meanwhile in a cave. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah! Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, it's what happened. I just dusted Tabitha. So we're in a cave again. We're always hanging out in caves. I wasn't kidding about this. Are you gonna hang out down there or are you gonna come up here? Okay, she's playing with rocks. Tabitha is hooked on rocks. Tabitha loves rocks. So we've been doing a photo shoot, actually a video shoot, for Tabitha's fan sites down in this old abandoned uh, rock house, this old rock house that these miners were using. So she was running around in her lingerie in this old crazy rock house. So uh, we saw this cave up above and we thought we should go check it out and see if maybe there's some signs of some primitive peoples being up here. There's a stick behind me up there and that's not natural. I wasn't growing inside of a cave. Let's see if Tabitha feels like talking right now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this, I put up with this every single day. Oh, you gotta see it at night. I know I've said this before. One night I'm going to record him. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> you mean during festivities time? Yep. Oh, yes. During festivities time. <laughs> festivities are wonderful for sleep. I don't know if I've talked about this much, but I'll just say it real quick, and then you you, uh, you jump in whenever you feel. I'm good. Like you need to. So the, the gummy type festivities, I've been doing for six, seven years now. Okay. At night, not during the day, because I like to stay very focused, hyper-focused, but... Uh, I gotta pause. You can still stay hyper-focused. It just depends on what type of festivity you are taking. And um, there you go. Well, and your chemistry, your body chemistry too. Yes. Because Tabitha is, well, you can do kind of all of it right, except not the sativa, not the high stuff. 
because she gets wired. I'm the other way around. I can drink coffee right before I go to bed and I'm just fine. And so anyway, for six or seven years now, now, I've probably in that time, I maybe have had bad sleep maybe four or five days or nights rather in six or seven years, literally every night I have perfect sleep. And the only time that he won't sleep out of those times is when he didn't take a festivity. True story. Yeah, we were traveling in a state where it's not really appreciated. (laughs) And we didn't take any because we were just, you know, abiding by the law. And uh, man, I didn't sleep at all. It totally sucked. It sucked so bad. Okay, good. (laughs) Yeah, so you states out there that are really uptight. About. And really draconian. I think I think draconian is a good word to use. It's such it's a, a big word. You know what draconian is? Kind of like a really yeah. crappy law. Yeah. Like a law that really screws things up. That's mm-hmm. what draconian is. Yeah. And some of these states are pretty damn draconian, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Tell. <laughs> I know why you're doing this. We've considered moving to certain states that are epic in landscape and nature. But then... Uh, decided not to. Can I'm, sp- I say why? I'm squeezing my nose because there's dust in here and I'm going to sneeze. Okay. No, and here's uh, two reasons why. Um, I want to stay in a state where I can shoot content from my fan sites and not get in trouble for doing that <laughs> because I'm posting them from that state. Um, and also, it's the festivities. I'd like a state that is very cool with festivities. I don't want to be living in a state where I'm always constantly worried that, oh, what if I get in trouble and I can't have my festivities anymore? That would really suck. Yeah, a lot of states are coming around, which is great, and they should because it's medicinal. I, I'm telling you, I sleep perfect at night, and I wake up in the morning absolutely alert, hyper-focused, in the best mood. It's, it's amazing, and I sleep through the whole night. I have great dreams. It doesn't kill my dreams. Mm-hmm. I have good, proper dreams. Very rarely is it like nightmarish or paranoia or any of that crap, yeah. right? Some people can do it. You have that sometimes, but not me. And I wake up every morning. I'm so stoked. Like I'm vibrant and alive and creative and ready to go every single morning. Yeah. Same. You keep sticking this in my face. Like I'm going to tell you this giant story. I'm not even ready for a story. Well, I, the problem is we. I didn't mic us up. I know. And so you're going to be, if you're off camera, the you're off the mic rather, what? Then I'll go like that. I'll tap you and lean in. Because it's like, here, take this. Like, that's that's a terrible idea. You got, then the whole video, you're just going to be like tapping no, me the idea. whole time? That's. I have an idea. I'll go like this. I am on a festivity. Okay, like, like that. See, I can do this. I'll be like this. Boop. Or the, I can be like. <laughs> oh. This is already getting to be very annoying. So this is. <laughs> So this is what we do in caves. We we sit around and annoy each other. That's that's not true. But <laughs> like, want to go down there? No, it looks too looks too sketchy. Want to go up there? Oh, that's really dicey. Want to go over there? Yeah, that looks chill. Let's go over there. We, that's what we do up in caves. We choose our spots. We have this incredible like we're way up high right now, so we have this incredible view. Yeah. So we can choose, like, oh, there's a cave. Like, oh, God. There's, and as a matter of fact, there's a bunch of caves over there mm-hmm. that look really cool. That's a ways away, but hey. Anyway. All right. So <laughs> we're going to march on and find some more cool stuff. Maybe we'll record some more. Maybe not. It just depends. Yeah, this is Cave Life. Cave Life with, <laughs> cave life. Cave life with Gary and Tabitha. Why don't you wrap this little segment up? Oh, why? You're doing this on purpose. He does these things to me on purpose, I swear. He does it. He does. Oh, you got. Oh, I swear. Can you just let me record one night? Of you when you showboat and do this whole big production for me. When I'm already, like, ready to go to bed. And Gary gets, jumps up out of his out of the bed, on his side of the bed, in his underwear. And he starts, boop, boop, be doo Boop, boop, be doo And wait. We're, okay, wait, wait. We're going to have to put one of those time cards in and go, meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> 369 seconds later. Boop, boop, be doo Boop, boop, be doo no, <laughs> no, he does these dances. And they're, sometimes they're really cute. Like, he's very creative. But then he goes into this rhyme. Yeah, like it's about that time. Hey, my, my rhyme is, you know what, Gary? No, you can't Gary, even do it. <laughs> f- future Gary, who's editing this very video, <laughs> cut to the photo shoot right now. Yes, Gary. Meanwhile, at the photo shoot.
you got to admit that was funny. That was really funny, Gary. Yeah, it was he good. just doesn't want to okay. show you. I was no, I was thinking about the future. This is like my crystal ball. I viewed myself editing this, saying, "Dear God, this is this little snippet is dragging on forever. How are you going to cut this up?" I'm like, "Let's go to the photo shoot. That was neato. Let's go to the video shoot." Oh my, I don't know what to say. I'm just wow. Well. All right, moving on. <laughs> One month later. So I, uh, upon being tired, I'm like, oh, and it got hot. And I'm like, good thing there was a breeze because the breeze really helped a lot. So I wasn't gonna hike up. This is like mountain you gotta hike up. And I'm like, I don't know, should I go? And Gary went up first and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get out of this funk and I'm gonna go up the hill. And I did and it was fun. <laughs> So yeah, you'll see uh, Escape to the Cave. So after the hiking, one of my gel toenails popped off. It popped off. Yes. Came home, took a shower. And I'm like, what's that? <laughs> Look on the shower floor. I'm like, oh man. But I'll tell you what. See, we log in those miles and it's up rocky terrain. So I guess it just kind of shifted on my toenail. Whee! Anyway, so I'm here on the floor. I'm like, the floor. I'm like, the floor. I'm like, the floor. Uh, <laughs> going through some lingerie to pick out my next couple of sets for my next shoots. And um, I'm trying to do stuff that goes with these shoes because these are some of my favorite shoes. So we got that. I mean, I still think, and I love this, right? You go with something like this, like the G World Yellow, because I do love this color. And look at that. Tell me that isn't really cute. So it's like this one piece thing. But change it up. Do it with like maybe the blue shoes. See, I like that. I like the contrast. So I might do something like that. The pink is still cute, like the pink shoes. I love them because they're fun. But I'm kind of thinking the blue might be better. Or red, but I do like the blue. For some reason, I just love those shoes. You have to understand, there's always something being filmed in the Orona Stevens household. Uh, yeah, there's always something going on. So if I'm not filming stuff for my fan sites or here for YouTube, um, we're doing sci-fi horror films. Uh, we're always doing something. And that's great. It's awesome. And I'm glad that I get to share it with you. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, what do you say? Why don't I just do this entire like fashion show of all the lingerie from G-World? That's a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it all. Like not in one day. <laughs> It's a lot, like we're talking. We'll figure this out, I'll let you know. Stay happy, fun, and fresh. And by fresh, I mean clean your pits. Especially when you're outside, clean those pits. Mm -hmm. You don't want to attract more flies, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> cool stuff in description. Go to Tabitha's fan sites. Tabitha is fun.